Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Aquarius right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for all Aquariuses out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Um, hit the like button down there for me, please, and thank you. If it does, I appreciate all your guys' support. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at roselovetarot underscore, where I also post my content. Um, what else? Okay, personal readings, you guys can message me in my email at natalielucky at yahoo.com. And I would be happy to do a personal reading for you guys. Let's see what comes out for Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius right now? Someone rising in Venus signs. What's going on with Aquarius? Okay. We have material harvest here, okay, and then we have wisdom. I feel like um, a lot of you Aquarius are on your own. Well, not really on your own. It's just that you have this um, energy where you feel like you have to learn things, and to learn them, you have to be alone here. We have deception and envy at the bottom. Someone is not happy about something that you started. Um, someone's not happy about things that you have, you know, material wise we have love begins here let's get one more for aquarius okay then we have hope all right disruption i i'm really getting a, a bully vibe for you aquarius it, it could be you that could be the bully or it could be someone else that's the bully here i feel like you are it's like a vibe where you're like you're really trying to be in your own zone here and like someone's bothering you. We have hope here with love begins. I, are some of are some of you like not hopeful of a new love or not hopeful of someone coming in? Are you or someone else trying to make someone feel as if they don't deserve a new start in love here? I feel like there's an energy on the outside. And they're trying to make the person like lose hope but it's not really working because you have a lot of wisdom it's like you've been through a lot and spirit is going to give you whatever you invested in emotionally you know financially or whatever you invested in it's going to come right back to you and someone might see that coming and they just don't like it all right let's see Aquarius someone rising and Venus signs. Yeah, I feel like you're going to end up getting whatever that you're trying to get here, Aquarius. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, so you have the Ten of Wands here, the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Wands. The Hangman, the Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, King of Pentacles, and the Hermit card. Okay. I see Virgo, Pisces, Gemini, and Earth. King of Swords, or I'm sorry, Queen of Swords at the bottom. That's your energy. Okay. I feel like someone can't get their mind off of you. But I'm also feeling like someone is stuck in a commitment. So put yourself where you belong in that. Someone is very burdened with a delay in a situation. They're really burdened with someone taking back their energy or holding back their energy or something like that. I feel like you guys both are very passionate about each other. It's a soulmate energy here, Aquarius. What's going on though? Clarify the Ten of Wands, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Eight of Pentacles, someone could be very burdened at work here. We have the King of Pentacles again. Someone is really burdened trying to become, well, not burdened. It's just that they have a lot of things on their plate here. So it's like they just feel, okay, they have a lot of things on their plate. And then the other person is like, okay, well, I'll just sit here and wait. Someone is trying to go deep within here and trying to get a lot of wisdom. And they're trying to see something from a different perspective. Or Spirit is trying to get them to see something from a different perspective. Clarify the Eight of Swords here for Aquarius. Someone raising a Venus signs. Ten of Swords. The Tower. 
Okay, so I feel like someone has their mind stuck on something that happened. Someone fears, someone fears something here. Someone fears an ending happening or something like that. Clarify the Knight of Swords, or I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands, please, for Aquarius, someone rising in Venus signs. Someone does fear something here. There's that Hermit card again. Someone's not talking. And then there's the Hangman. Hermit, Hangman, Hermit, Hangman. It's like someone's like, hold on, give me a second. I gotta see something differently here. I have to go within. <laughs> They're passionate about you, though. It's just what's stopping them from coming towards you. I feel like it could be finances. Someone could be ashamed of their finances is what I'm hearing. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please, for... What's underneath this? Oh, the magician. Okay, so it's like they're trying to manifest you in even though you guys aren't talking. But I feel like they're doing it with work. Clarify the King of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Four cups. And the lovers. I feel like someone made the wrong choice in love, too. Like someone could be stuck in a commitment. For some of you, Aquarius. Clarify the Hermit, please. For Aquarius. Someone rising and Venus signs. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Someone regrets something from the past. Oh, they're remembering something from the past. Something from their past is holding them back. That's what I'm getting here. I don't know. This, this is a really weird reading. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Aquarius, Someone Rising in Venus signs. Page of Wands. Something isn't enough. And we have the King of Wands at the bottom. Someone is not happy where they're at. And it's just not enough. Someone wants to message someone here about stability. Maybe someone is afraid to end something for something else. Clarify the hangman, please, for Aquarius. Why is the hangman here for Aquarius? Could they be losing money? Six of Cups. Six of Wands. It's like this person either... This person is a workaholic guys either if this could be you or this could be their person they're a workaholic and while they're at work they think about the past and what they regret they remember good times and like they're just stuck in the past clarify the lovers please or someone from their past is holding them back okay so we have the queen of swords the queen of swords again making a decision but becoming illogical about something, four of swords at the bottom. The queen of swords doesn't want love. She doesn't want this. She doesn't want it. Even though she knows that this is a connection, she's not, she's not slow. Queen of Swords is very intellectual. I feel like she knows what this is, but she's very stuck. She's worried about endings, or she's afraid of endings here. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, let's see what this person has to say to you, Aquarius. Guys, if I'm resonating for you, go ahead and hit that like button down there for me, please, and thank you. I appreciate your guys' support. Let's get some messages from your person. What do they want to say to you right now? What do they have to say to Aquarius? We belong together. What else for Aquarius? We understand each other without words, but sometimes it's better to speak up. So I feel like you feel like, or whoever the Queen of Swords is, she feels like, you know, this person knows, they should know, right? That's what the Queen of Swords comes off as, like, you should know how to make me happy. You should know I shouldn't have to speak to you. You know what I mean? So, 
They want you to speak up, though, because they feel isolated. They feel regretful. I am waiting for a divine connection to happen, but in the meantime, I am focused on myself for us. That's you. It's like you're not focused on the love part right now, Aquarius, or someone is not focused on the love part right now. They're very focused on their finances. Yeah. All right, Aquarius, that was your reading. I hope it resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.